subscription-based uh, model that, you know, that's pretty impressive. And a common misconception about CoStar is that we only service those larger brokerage firms. Uh, obviously, we do with your CBREs and your Cushmans. Uh, but we work with, with uh, you know, an array of clients from retailers uh, to financial institutions, banks, uh, and even small uh, brokerage firms like yourself. Um, so the, the LoopNet merger closed in May 2012. Um, and you know, once we owned both companies, we were able to really lift up uh, up the hoods of both companies and take a look at uh, you know what were the strengths and weaknesses of both companies. And what we're able to find is that uh, you know the pe most of the people searching on LoopNet are the tenants and the small buyers. You know, generally the, your clients, the people that are going to be your clients. And uh, you know, what's interesting is only one percent of the people who search LoopNet are you know commercial real estate professionals and brokers like yourselves. Okay, you take a look at the people who use CoStar. 75% uh, of the people who use CoStar uh, are commercial real estate professionals. So it's really a tool that's geared toward the professionals, and we'll get into why you're, gonna, you know, as a professional yourself, you're going to want to have CoStar at your fingertips. Um, before the merger, um, you take a look at the, you know the listings in, in each product. The, you know the common misconception was that uh, LoopNet had more listings than CoStar. Uh, as you can see here, before the merger, LoopNet had 767,000 listings, and CoStar had almost double that with 1.4 million listings. Okay, you can see here that uh, this represents the listings that were unique to LoopNet that were not in CoStar, and then obviously this big portion right here are the unique listings to CoStar that were not in LoopNet. Um, after the merger, um, we verified all the unique listings to LoopNet and we put them in the CoStar database. Okay, so right now CoStar is a full inventory product and uh, you know, we still have more than double the amount of listings in LoopNet, or in, so, sorry, in CoStar that you would see in LoopNet. Um, so let's just take a snapshot of your market, okay? In Chicago right now, you have access to 18, you know, just over 18,000 listings, okay? CoStar is tracking over 54,000 listings in your market. So that's pretty powerful right there. You, you're missing out on, you know, two thirds of the listings in your market. Okay. And now I want you to focus over to this bar right here. CoStar is a full inventory product. So you know we're tracking properties that are off market as well. Uh, you know, which is going to benefit you guys because you can uh, identify off market deals, and it allows us to be able to give you analytics like absorption trends, vacancy rates, and things like that. Um, and so CoStar will always have more information, and why is that? Uh, LoopNet is a user-entered database. Uh, you have brokers like yourself, you put in the listings. Um, you know, there's no money spent on LoopNet research, and LoopNet data is always verified and put into the CoStar database, whereas the, the data does not flow from CoStar into LoopNet. Um, so I'm sure you, know, you guys would feel the same way that it's important for you guys as commercial real estate professionals to have uh, you know, more inventory, better information than your clients do, right? And as we mentioned earlier, uh, you know, people that are your clients are the ones who are using LoopNet. Um, CoStar invests over $100 million in their research per year. Uh, it's really a three-pronged approach. It starts with uh, field research guys, boots on the ground. Uh, we have over a thousand researchers in-house that are talking to the brokers, the deal makers, um, and then we also pull data from 15 third-party data feeds. Okay, uh, our, da our uh, research process is updated every 30 days, so you know you're getting real-time data, uh, and, and we stay with that 30-day process. All right, just a little video, just going into our research process, uh, starring our CEO Andy Florence. Um, so let's take a look at the research process. I mentioned the field research. That's where it all starts. Again, those are the boots on the ground. Um, you know, our field research vehicles are going around inspecting buildings. buildings. Over 2 million buildings inspected. We have a, a library of over 11 million high-resolution photographs taken. Um, and then the, the 15,000 daily sign checks. Uh, these people are going out there and identifying the listings, you know, rather than waiting for the listings to come to us, we're going out there and, and you know, getting those listings. And we're able to, to have information on proposed buildings as well with our construction site inspections. Um, so let's take a look at our in-house research process. Our in-house researchers, the guys who are talking to the deal makers, to the brokers like yourselves. Uh, we make over 120,000 calls per day. 
Again, we're updating listings on a 30-day cycle to make sure that that information is accurate and up-to-date for you guys. Um, everyone's favorite hobby, right? Tenant canvassing. Um, you know, you guys will no longer have to get thrown out of buildings because we're going to go ahead and do that tenant canvassing for you. Um, and again, we are pulling data from courthouse filings, public records, and SEC filings. Uh, that will save you guys time from having to call up and deal with those bureaucracies, which is, again, everyone's favorite hobby, right? Um, so, you know, these are the individuals in your market, um, you know, that are doing the work for you, okay? Uh, Chicago has 42 full-time employees dedicated to, you know, supporting that market and making sure that you're getting all the information that you need, again, in a timely fashion. Um, you know, CoStar isn't just a database. We don't just give you the keys to the car and say, you know, you know have a good time. Uh, these individuals are here to support you. Um, and, and really help you, uh, you know, spend less time on research and more time focusing on, you know, winning those deals and getting those commissionable events. Um, and you know, those individuals that I just showed you have been working really hard. Uh, over the last seven years, we've actually grown the Chicago market by 266 percent. You can actually see that in 08 and 09, through the downturn, we continue to invest in our research in Chicago to provide you guys with the best data possible. We can take a little more layered look at this, uh, jump into property type, obviously, then and now. Uh, you know, a common misconception is that we're the trophy building office product. Well, that's not true. As you can see, we're tracking a lot of retail properties, land, multifamily, office, and industrial, and that's continuing to grow. Um, because of our exhaustive research process, because we're going out there and getting the data, okay, and as opposed to waiting for the brokers to load it onto our system ourselves like they do in LoopNet, there are over 4,000 people in Chicago that have listings in CoStar, but not LoopNet. Okay, so there, there's a lot of you know, brokers that, you know, all of their listings you're currently missing. Um, so let's take a look at you know, the, the different verticals. We can see that right now you guys are missing 54% of the for sale listings. Okay, that, you know, that's pretty powerful. 43% of the for lease listings, again, you guys are missing out on. 51% of retail, 42% office listings, you guys are missing. 45% of industrial, and 63% of the land listings in Chicago, you guys are missing. Okay, uh, another common misconception about CoStar, again, the big office trophy building, uh, we're actually tracking uh, buildings, you know, small buildings as well. So let's just take a look look at buildings that are under 15,000 square feet. You guys are still missing 1,300 listings of those small mom and pops. Okay. So you know what I like to do now. There's nothing more powerful than jumping into the product live. Um, you know, taking a look at this for yourself. Um, All right, so you know, let's just say I'm a tenant rep like you guys, uh, and I got a tenant rep assignment. Uh, you know, my, my client's uh, uh, partner in a law firm. He's looking to, to relocate uh, somewhere in the West Loop of Chicago. Uh, he, you know, he want, he's looking for anything that's about three to five thousand square feet of office space, um, and he's a busy lawyer, so he can't come all the way to your office. He asked if, if we could meet in a Starbucks. Okay. So I got to the meeting a little bit early. I'm going to run a search in my LoopNet app for him, uh, you know, like the, the one that you guys have access to, so that I'm prepared for when he gets, shows up at Starbucks. Um, so you know, do a quick search here. This is uh, you know the West Loop here. Filter a search for office space. Three to five thousand square feet of space. We'll go ahead and get our results, and we found 27 listings. Great. So when my client shows up, I got 27 properties that I can show them. Um, maybe we'll call some people, set up some tours. Uh, but again, if I'm a professional, I'm going to want the CoStar product. Okay. So let's just jump into that, and we'll do a comparison. Again, 27 results um, in the West Loop of Chicago for office space, three to five thousand square feet. Jump into our CoStar Go application. We pulled up the West Loop submarket. Okay. Now, you know, what I want you guys to focus on here is I did mention uh, in the PowerPoint presentation that we're a full inventory database. Okay, so we're, we're tracking off-market properties as well. So the gray icons that you see here, those are properties that are inactive, don't have any space for lease. Okay, 
And the red icons are going to be your active properties to space for us. So let's run our search. We'll filter for lease. Office space. Um, Three thousand, five thousand square feet. We'll show results. So you know, CoStar has eighty-four results. Okay, so that's more than three times the amount of listings that we got when we did the same search, the same geographic region in LoopNet. Okay, so if you're going to be able to provide value for your clients, you know, which product are you going to want? Right, CoStar, more than three times more listings. Okay, so great, I got the CoStar app, I got 84 listings I can show my client. My coffee's getting cold, where is it? Okay, um, he shows up and he says, oh man, Matt, I, you know, I was driving into the city, uh, driving down uh, Route 90 into the city and I saw you know, a great building that had a sign that said space for lease. And you know, I'd love to be right near the highway, it would shorten my commute. So I said, great, what's the address, we'll pull it up. Well, I was, you know, he says, I, I was driving 60 miles an hour. I didn't, I didn't see the address, but the, you know, the sign did say space release. Call Tem Horwitz. Well, I don't know Tem, but uh, let's see if CoStar does. So, let's see All right, Tem Horwitz. All right. So, you know, that easy. I'm able to pull up his listing, right? Is this the listing you're talking about, right on Route 90? Yeah, that's the listing I was talking about. Good. So, why don't we come in here? Wait for the token here. We can see that the space available meets his uh, criteria. So, we want to go ahead and set up a tour. So, what I'll do is go into the contact section, pull up Tim's email address. I can go ahead and email him. Hey, I'd love to just set up a time and come tour the property. I have a client that's, that's interested in one of your spaces. Okay. But while I got my client there, I don't want to just show him one space that he saw on the drive in. You know, I want to be able to give him an idea of you know, all the properties that would be able to fit his needs. So what I'll do is go back to home here. And we'll go back to our filter. Tour lease. We'll go back to the West Loop submarket. In Chicago, we will filter for lease, office space, three thousand to five thousand. Square feet of space. And that show results again. That's ready for results. But he did mention he loved to be on Route 90, shorten his commute a bit. So what we can actually do is do a custom search around the Route 90 corridor, so we can pull up the properties that are going to be good for him to shorten his commute. Okay. So right now we've limited our list down to 33 properties that are going to be a good fit for him. Um, I said, great, you know, why, don't I, why don't I show you a few of these properties? Um, but you know, he says, you know, I'm a prestigious law firm. I don't want to be you know, in a non-desirable building. So what we can do is just kind of go through here and take a look. And let's just get rid of some of these two-star buildings, because those certainly are not desirable.
okay? We've got a, a number of them. Um, so let's jump in and take a look. You know, he really likes the, the City Group Center building, 500 West Madison Street. So we'll jump in here and we'll get into some of the detail on the property. As you can see right here, identifies the properties that fit his needs, anywhere to three to 5,000 square feet of office space. Okay, so right here are his properties. We can actually see what's been going on in the building for the last three years. Uh, take a look, there are 39 lease transactions that we've tracked in this building within the last few years. Uh, this is important information for you guys because you can use this as leverage against the landlord rep to know exactly what's going on in that building. You know, what the, the average you know, rental rate is, uh, what are the concessions, um, you know, what are, what are the, the costs going to be, is it a triple net or a full service gross lease? So we're tracking all that information, you know, so you can better advise your clients as to whether or not this is a good deal. Your client likes it because it's a big shiny building, but obviously the value you bring to them as a broker is going to be able to advise them on whether or not it's a good deal for them. Uh, to continue on that, we're actually tracking analytic data on the property. It's really the EKG in the building. Why don't we see how healthy this building is? As you can see here, you know, it's pretty on par with the rest of the market as far as occupancy rate. We can continue to scroll down here. And this is really important, this is powerful stuff right here. The rental rate. Uh, this is a trophy building, okay, five-star rating. Why is the rental rate so low? I don't know, but I can you know, advise my client that it is lower than comparable buildings in the same sub-market, so he can probably get a good deal in that building. Again, you bringing more value to your client. Okay, um, so we'll go back to the spaces for lease here. Um, obviously, this is there's you know there are good deals within this building. Uh, it's performing well, and you know my client tells me he likes the space on the 31st floor. He likes having good views. So we can go ahead, click on that, get some details on the space. Uh, we can see here that it's 4,300 square feet of contiguous space. We have a floor plan here as well. Um, we can also see that it's been on the market for a, a, a while, okay? Again, that gives you some leverage going into the landlord rep to say, hey, I know you've been sitting vacant for a while, you know, why don't we make a deal? Um, so your client says he loves this property, uh, the rental rates in this building are very competitive, so let's go ahead and, and email Emily, who's the listing broker. This would be another one we'll add to our tour. So we can just click on her name, send her an email. Okay, um, so coffee's getting cold, coffee's done. Uh, my busy lawyer of a client, he needs to get back to his office. Well, we only set up two tours. Um, and you know, obviously we're gonna wanna go out and take a look at a lot more uh, buildings here. So we'll go back to our results. And again, we found 20 results. We, we were able to email two brokers and set up two tours. He's gotta go back, he's gotta go to his office and sue some people, I don't know. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, hey, you know, Mr. Client, I'm going to go ahead and email you. We'll generate a report here of the listings that we didn't get a chance to look at, but they do fit your criteria. They are going to be good for you. So we'll we'll do a multi-listing report with a map overview, just so we can see where it is. And we'll generate that report. Taking just a moment. So you guys seeing how this will you know, be able to allow you to bring more value to your client? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you only email the report or do you have to connect it to a printer? Um, no, I don't. I can either email it to them. I can also you know, email it to a FedEx office that's nearby. We actually you know, have a partnership with, with FedEx Kinko's office and we can, email it our, we can email it to them. They can print it off. We go pick up a bound report. But here's your multi-listing report that you will email to your client, okay, with the map overview. Say, so, you know, look, Mr. Client, I know you're a busy lawyer. I know you got to get to the office. We were able to set up tours with two spaces, but I want you, when you have time, to look at this email and identify which of the, the remaining properties here that we haven't looked at would be interested in you. You, know, you let me know, and I'll go ahead and set up tours with those buildings as well. So I'll go ahead and email it to you, and it'll be at your office by the time you get there. Okay. So busy lawyer goes back to his office to sue somebody. I'm sitting in Starbucks, and you know I had a good meeting. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, you know I'm in a neighborhood where I, it looks like I'm going to start to do some business. So why don't I see if there's any other opportunities in the same neighborhood? 
Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go in a new tenant assignment. So what I can do is filter tenants in the same geography, the same corridor there. I can filter office tenants. Uh, I find let's go three, two, six thousand square feet. Um, and let's get a lease expiration a year out. Okay. So now I've got a list of tenants whose leases are expiring within a year that are right in the neighborhood of the Starbucks that I'm in. So instead of going up and cold knocking on doors, I can find a little bit about these tenants. Okay, so I'll just click on, on one of these guys here. All right. Synergy Law Group. All right, well, I'm about to move a lawyer into a space in this area. Why don't I go use that as, as to pitch some credibility of mine and go see what, what these guys are all about. So I go in here. I can see that they've been in this space for quite a while, about 10 years. Uh, I can see that they're occupying 6,000 square feet of space and they have 17 employees. Okay, So that's 353 square feet per employee. Now you're cramming 17 employees into you know, a, a small space. Uh, their lease is coming up in a year. Maybe they'd like to move into a bigger space. Okay, so that gives me some ammunition, you know, making it less of a cold call, more of a warm call when I call these guys up or if I go knock on their door. Okay, I can even go to the company's website here, find out a little bit about what they do. Jump right into their website. Okay. Again, I'm, you know, I'm able to, uh, you know, uh, give myself some ammunition to go in there so it's not just a cold call. So I can go up over, and I know they're right in the area. I can go ahead and knock on their door and say, hey, I know you guys' lease is expiring in a year. Um, looks like you're pretty crammed in here with 17 employees. Are you looking at, at a bigger space? Uh, you know, what can I do to help you? I'm actually working with, with, uh, with another law firm that I'm moving in, in somewhere in the same area. Okay. Um, you know, so really, uh, I was able to get a lot done sitting in a Starbucks. Uh, it's almost lunchtime. I haven't even been in the office yet. Oh, right? it, is, so, uh, it is lunchtime. <laughs> well, so speaking of lunchtime, right? I was I was having a really good productive day. Uh, I'm pretty hungry, so why don't I filter tenant? You know, I'm really feeling like a five dollar foot long right about now. I guess. <laughs> Great. I got a subway right down the street. It's February. I get a five dollar foot long and a sandwich, right? <laughs> All right. So, you know, was I able to show you guys a few things that's really going to help you, you know, minimize the downtime you have on the computer, chained to your desk, doing research, uh, allows you to get out there, and, and really you don't even have to go in the office, right? I was able to get a lot done, and I can get to more commissionable events. Would you guys agree? Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I want to make a sandwich now. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Let's talk. Good job. That was very good. Good job, Matt.